over 3 million children under the age of 5 in the UK, with 600,000 new births every year. Of these, over 8%, around 48,000 children, will develop a neurodevelopmental problem of some degree which may affect their lives if it's not treated. The Schedule of Growing Skills, published by NFER Nelson, has been designed to identify those children who are at risk in this way. It's an easy-to-use, compact screening kit designed to assess the development of under fives. It contains a list of items which test a child's strengths and weaknesses, detailed instructions on how to use the kit, and a book which discusses important issues related to child care. An attractive range of toys, necessary for many of the items, is also included. The schedule makes it easier to identify children's problems and to explain these to their parents. It took 10 years to create. Martin Bellman, who originated the idea, explains why it was first developed. Well, the origin of the schedule dates back to 1976, when I was working for a study called the National Childhood Encephalopathy Study, which was looking at children throughout the British Isles who had had various kinds of severe neurological illnesses, possibly related to whooping cough vaccine. And for carrying out that study, we needed some kind of scheme for doing developmental assessments on these children throughout the whole country, which would allow us to make uh, a standard assessment of their developmental progress. The schedule is based on Mary Sheridan's book, From Birth to Five Years, which is the most widely used guide to development in the preschool child. The early trials of the schedule were very successful. It's quite interesting that uh, having used the method during the research study over a period of about three years on maybe 500 children, we felt very happy using it and we described our experiences to various groups of community paediatricians and health visitors. And their reaction was really one of great interest because they said that uh, in the community there really is a great need for a method of doing developmental assessments which uh, was easy to use, which they could understand and which would help them explain to parents what they were doing. Surveillance is extremely important for the under fives. It consists of four major activities, prevention, screening, assessment and therapy. Health education and immunisation help prevent problems developing, but if they have developed, it's important to screen and identify them quickly. In-depth assessment thoroughly investigates any area which appeared suspicious at the screening stage and serves as the basis for effective, relevant care. Now we've completed the screening, Mrs. Johnson. I'll complete the profile on film. The schedule contributes to surveillance at the developmental screening stage. Developmental screening is a system that aims to check whether children are developing normally for their age against prescribed criteria. Failure to meet these criteria may indicate developmental delay or defect, or may be caused by environmental factors. The schedule of growing skills enables this important task to be carried out more effectively, while at the same time making it enjoyable for the child. Oh, very good. The core of the schedule is a permanent record of a child's performance at up to four screenings carried out between birth and five. There are nine skill areas expanded from the four familiar Stycar areas. Each skill area is divided into subsets with a total of 180 items on the child record form. On the top, 
Look, it's high as you can. That's a clever girl. The tester needn't work through all the items on the child record. Here, the child is carrying out item 58, designed to test her manipulative skills. The tester has ignored the earlier items in this subsection and has gone straight to one which she expects the child to be just able to achieve. She then proceeds through the section until she finds an item which the child is unable to perform. So I'll put mine over here. Can you make one for me? You see if you can make one the same. Here's my train waiting. Numbers indicate the scores the child receives for correct performance of an item. The highest scores in each subset of a particular skill area are then totaled to give an overall mark. The tester then draws a line on the profile to show the child's chronological age. She then transfers the score for each skill area from the child record onto the profile. In this case, the child's scores are consistent with her age. In completing the profile, three extra copies are generated. This gives a referral note in simple visual form with a minimum of paperwork. Quality of performance can be noted both on the child record and on the profile. One of the authors of the schedule, John Cash, explains why this was felt necessary. We felt it important to include a method of commenting on the quality of performance in all the parameters. For example, a child building a tower of bricks may achieve the correct number for its age, but the quality of that achievement may be extremely suspect. He may have an immature grasp, or he may even show a tremor on approach. Which crayon do you want? Which one do you want? Red. Red, okay. That's it. Can you draw a line like that? Can you draw a line like that? And can you do a circle like that? <laughs> Clever girl. Do another one over here. Clever girl. You're good at drawing, aren't you? Now then, let's see what we've got in here. Should we put that over there? I'm going to open the book. Is that apple, isn't it? Can you turn what? Toothbrush. Toothpaste. That's right. Can you turn one page? What's that? It's really cold. And what do you use those for? Brush your hair. Yeah. And brush your Those are gloves for the winter, aren't they? Eh? You're very good at this. One crucial point has only been mentioned in passing. Having filled in the profile, how does the tester decide when a child's development is delayed? There are no hard and fast rules for referral. We've acknowledged the very wide range of normal in childhood development, and we have, in fact, given some guidelines uh, of developmental scores which might indicate a referral for a specialist opinion. However, I think we all felt very strongly in the working party that we should uh, rely a great deal on the professionalism of the tester. The pilot version of the schedule has been used in Hackney for some time. The health visitors there have become familiar with the schedule in a practical situation and are able to assess its value to the children and to the parents and its impact on the service offered by health centres to the community. Several health visitors from the authority were asked to comment on the schedule. 
Well, at first, when we used this study at the beginning, there were one or two items that we found were rather difficult to use with some multi-ethnic groups. They were particularly to do with uh, children feeding themselves and um, an item about um, the use of nursery rhymes. But in fact, they have now been changed in the new schedule um, to include, for example, children um, being able to feed themselves with their fingers um, unaided. And that's, uh, that's rectified that problem. And the, uh, the nursery rhymes has been changed to using nursery rhymes, commercials from television, pop songs. There's another one. When I first used the schedule, I found it difficult. Uh, and I was worried because I took a long time going through the results with the parent. So I took the form away and I read it so that I could get used to the schedule and what was on it. Mm -hmm. So the second time I used it, it was a lot easier and not as complicated as I thought it was in the first instance. I find that the schedule allows us to extend it into health education. For instance, if we're discussing feeding with the mother, if the child is able to self-feed, we could find out what sort of foods the child is having and discuss with her appropriate foods. There are also areas, for instance, of um, the child being able to crawl upstairs. We could then go on to safety, home safety, um, securing safety gates. On the whole, each aspect of the test allows for some health education, some input in health education. What's that? And what's that? And what about that? And what about that? Which one do you sleep in? And which one do you brush your hair with? And which one do you have a drink out of? The schedule is and not an in-depth assessment. Yes. It is, however, an indicator of where a problem may lie and has proved to be technically sound and an extremely practical tool for the healthcare professional. She's what? Chasing the boy. Chasing the boy, is she? And what's this boy doing? The most striking feature of the schedule is the ease with which it can be adapted to meet the needs of individual authorities. It doesn't involve a lot of equipment. It can be used at any age from birth to five. It's flexible, allowing for professional judgment on when a child should be referred to a specialist. It enables those involved in childcare to explain problems and development to parents in simple terms. The 180 items on the child record allow for sensitive analysis of a child's strengths and weaknesses. As the authors say in the schedule of growing skills in practice, we hope the schedule will help to increase the wider understanding of developmental screening and its crucial role in the health and well-being of all children.